Namaskar. In this session, we shall be taking up with yet another judgment by Honorable Supreme Court with regard to the Tang Declaration. The case is State of UP versus Virpal and another. Now, the relevant facts pertaining to the case were that the deceased daughter-in-law succumbed to injuries on account of allegedly immolation by her in-laws, that is the accused persons for dowry. Before her death, she got recorded two dying declarations within the span of two days, one by the police officer on 20th of December 2011 under Section 161 CRPC and another by the SDM on 22nd of December 2011. In the first dying declaration, the deceased implicated her father-in-law with the allegations of chasing and beating her up due to which she locked herself in the room and committed suicide out of fear by pouring kerosene. In the second dying statement, the father-in-law alleged to have burned her after pouring kerosene over her while she specifically took the names of other family members. Charges for the commission of offences under Section 302 and, 3 and 34 IPC were framed against the accused persons to which they pleaded not guilty and claimed trial. During the course of trial, the statements of 10 prosecution witnesses were recorded. Although the oral testimony of the witnesses did not support the case of the prosecution, however, medical evidence showed that the accused had sustained injuries on her head and backside and not her chest, which would not have happened had she committed suicide. On the other hand, the accused had put forth the defense that the deceased had herself poured the kerosene on her. Nevertheless, trial court convicted the accused for the offense of murder and sentenced them to life imprisonment. The accused had appealed before the division bench of Honorable High Court of Judicature at Allahabad, which led to their acquittal. The Honorable, Honorable Allahabad High Court did not believe the dying declaration on two grounds, recording of two dying declarations within the span of two days, and no explausible explanation for recording the second dying declaration in existence of the first dying declaration. The state had appealed before the Supreme Court against the judgment and acquittal passed by Honorable High Court. Now, the relevant provision under issue was Section 32, Subsection 1 of Indian Evidence Act, which is cases in which statement of relevant fact by person who is dead or cannot be found, etc. is relevant when it is related to the cause of death. The issues before the Honorable Supreme Court were whether all the declarations are to be rejected, where there are multiple dying declaration and whether conviction can solely be based on dying declaration without corroboration. On behalf of the state, it was argued that dying declaration recorded by competent magistrate would stand on a higher footing, especially when its credibility was not doubted than the declaration made to the investigating officer under Section 161 CRPC. It was also argued that conviction can be made on the basis of a dying declaration of the deceased without there being any corroborative evidence on record. On the other hand, on behalf of the accused, once the dying declaration was recorded by the police officer on 20th of December 2011, there was no reason to record another dying declaration on 22nd of December 2011. It was also argued that appreciation of evidence shows that the deceased was mentally weak and in such a state of mind as well as on due to her fear, she took the drastic step of committing suicide by pouring kerosene on herself. Uh, it was submitted that the entire evidence was appreciated by High Court and no case of murder had been made out. So for the legal background and the interpretation of the law is concerned, Honorable Supreme Court on the evidentiary of value, evidentiary value of multiple dying declaration made reference to the case of Jagbir Singh was a state in city of Delhi, wherein it was observed and held that merely because there are two or multiple dying declarations, all dying declarations are not to be rejected. Where there are multiple dying declarations, the case must be decided on the facts of each case and the court will not be relieved of its duty to carefully examine the entirety of the material on record as also the circumstances surrounding the making of the different dying declaration. Other case laws, like Ravi Chandar and others was the state of Punjab, Harjit Kaur was the state of Punjab, Kohli Chunila Savji and another was the state of Gujarat, and Vikas and others was the state of Maharashtra were also referred to. 
to the question that can conviction be based solely on time declaration without corroboration honorable supreme court made reference to kushal rao was a state of bombay air 1958 supreme court 22 in which the following principles as to the circumstances under which dying declaration may be accepted without corroboration were laid that it cannot be laid down as an absolute rule of law that a dying declaration cannot form the sole basis of conviction unless it is corroborated that each case must be determined on its own facts keeping in view the circumstances in which the dying declaration was made that it cannot be laid down as a general proposition that a dying declaration is a weaker kind of evidence that than on other pieces of evidence that a dying declaration stands in the same footing as another piece of evidence and has to be judged in the light of surrounding circumstances and with reference to the principles governing the weighing of evidence that a dying declaration which has been recorded by a competent magistrate in the proper manner that is to say in the form of questions and answers and as far as practicable in the words of a maker of the declaration stands on a much higher footing than a dying declaration that depends upon oral testimony which may suffer from all infirmities of human memory and human character and that in order to test the reliability of a dying declaration the court has to keep in view the circumstances like the opportunity of a dying man for observation for example whether there was sufficient light if the crime was committed at night whether the capacity of the man to remember the facts stated had not been impaired at the time he was making the statement by circumstances beyond his control that the statement has been consistent throughout if he had several opportunities of making a dying declaration apart from the official record of it and that the statement had been made at the earliest opportunity and was not the result of tutoring by interested parties other cases uh, were also relied upon like munna raja versus um, state of mp pani ban shrimati was a state of gujarat state of uttar pradesh was a ram sagar yadav and others and ramavati devi was a state of bihar so the ratio of the case was pertaining to evidentiary value of the dying declaration recorded at the later date by the magistrate it was held that there is nothing on the record to show that the magistrate was biased or interested in recording the dying declaration against the accused the magistrate was summoned during the course of investigation as such he recorded the statement the magistrate was duly examined in the court who deposed with regard to the mental condition of the deceased as such she was capable of comprehending the questions put forth by him the evidentiary value of the dying declaration was further enhanced with a certificate by the physician who was treating the deceased prior to her death stating that the deceased remained fully conscious while making the statement medical evidence of the deceased does not support the first dying declaration of the deceased recorded by the investigating officer on 20th of december 2011 with regard to the other point uh, it was also held that in both the dying declarations of the deceased the common thread was that she was attacked by the accused the statements made by the deceased in her dying declaration were consistent with the medical evidence and there were burns on all parts of the body except chest and sides of the abdomen and back the burns found at such part as could have resulted when a person other than the deceased poured kerosene and set fire accordingly the accused were held to be convicted solely on dying declaration without corroboration the ruling in the case says that the appeal filed by the state was allowed and the impugned judgment and order acquitting the accused for the offenses under section 302 read with section 304 34 ipc was set aside the judgment and order passed by the trial court were restored and the accused were held guilty for the offenses punishable under section 302 and 34 ipc this will bring to an end to the session till we meet again namaskar